Hi guys, I'm back. Uh, this uh, week is all going to be about uh, the turquoise colors and uh, using gold foil. So what I have done is, I've already done a few because I want to, you know, get on with this video. So they're drying. Um, what I'm doing is making uh, pretty backgrounds and then when it's dry, I'm going to put glue on it and then put the gold foil on it. Now, as you can see, these are different shades of turquoise. And what I'd really like is for it to blend, but I want to see these nice brush strokes. And what it really is, is just going back and forth and then just making one nice long stroke. Oh, you can't really see where I'm ending, can you? Let me fix that. There you go. So you just place it on, on your paper and then you can take your big brush, you need a big one, and uh, the fibers shouldn't be too flexible because that way you get your nice long stripey look so we're going back and forth back and forth a little bit more paint here on the side and then I go over it one more time to make sure that I'm covering every single bit of it and I don't have where you see the beginning of the brush strokes and I can fix where I put my finger. So, oops, that's not good. Got to do this one. That's better. Okay, so now it's totally covered. And then we can put this one away to dry. You can see how wet it is. You can see the nice little strokes it has so we're going to put this one away and then i'm going to show you a dried one this is nice and dry and i'm still having trouble with my monitor and it's really driving me a little bit crazy i bet you can you catch it caught on to that because i talk about it a lot but the thing is that what I see is really nice turquoisey bluish and on my monitor I'm seeing green. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm going to really test this uh, once I upload this video to see what I, I see on the monitor. I might even uh, uh, beam it to the TV and see what, what's up there. Okay, now to put on a gold foil, gold leaf, what you have to have is some sort of a, a glue to, that it sticks. And uh, the thing is that I'm not really sure what how I'm going to do it. I would like a really big one of these. Um, what I have is a book binding glue, the archival one, and I thinned it out. And I was thinking of, you know, just going like this. But that's really time consuming. But it might, you know, just give you some nice effects. But then <laughs> I was already thinking, you know, that's not going to work because it's that is pretty thick. And it really doesn't sort of shrink when it dries, I don't think. So let me put a little bit more down there. So I don't know what to do. What about if we just press it and we make it flat? Would that work out? I think we're going to try that. 
Let me see. Well, I got enough of that paper. Let me just put one on. We're going to flatten it out. And it will become much bigger. Yes, it is. But of course, what we're looking for is a little bit of a organic sort of a, ooh, look at that. It's forming these little cells. <laughs> and there's no silicone in it. <laughs> that's the book bind. Oh, wow, if that works. Nah, I don't think that's gonna work because I bet you it's going to, uh, let's see. Nah, it's gonna stick anyway. But if that would work, that would be really awesome. So um, I have a little tray full of uh, a lot of that, I don't know what you call it, uh, gold leaf flakes, whatever it is. So what we're going to do is flaky flaky all over the placey. I don't want the big bits, I just want the, uh, the waste. The big bits, you know, I use that for different stuff. So what we're doing is putting it all on there. You don't want to touch the glue because the glue, you don't want to touch it. You, you know, you just want to hope that it keeps those little silly things that, it, that you saw. But I will have to tap it in. So that's a that's something I wasn't planning on. I got layers on layers on layers of this stuff. Okay, let's see if we can do this. That's a big one. Let's put that one down there. Okay, let's see if this works. So we're getting a big brush and we're gonna tap it in. And I see there a piece of glue and it won't take. Let's see if that works. Eh, that works. Okay, so the next thing uh, what we have left to do is wait for this stuff to dry. Might take a bit, and then I'll get back to you, and I'll... Uh... No, that's okay. I didn't really ruin the brush. See that? It's all off. That's great. Okay, I'll be back with you when it's dry. Okay, let's see if we uh, have that stuff stuck to it very slowly taking it off ew that's a lot of uh, foil gonna go all over the place in a bit I'm just making sure that it is stuck to it. Yeah, there are a, a few little of uh, those little holes in it, which I liked. I can see that. And we were going for that sort of an organic look. But I think I have to let it dry a little bit more. Let's see. So that's looking kind of nice. There's a hair in there somewhere. Oh no, it's a piece of foil. But it's not really... I'm looking for a little bit more flat. So just let me clean this up before I get everything covered in this gold stuff. Oh, now it's stuck to that. That was where I pressed the, uh, the glue. Let me clean this up. 
Okay, I cleaned uh, most of it up. I'm just going to see what happens when I really take the rest off. That's a little cooper there. Don't know if you could hear that. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's see. Brush that off. And then I'm gonna take my little roller, make sure it's not wet. And I'm gonna roll right over it. That's kind of cool. I have one bump here. I want to get that off. But other than that, I think I think that works. That looks okay. Where's the bump? Oh yeah, there's the bump. But I like it. Now I know that somewhere I have a glue pen. If I were to do like nice long stripey things, because I'm going to be cutting this up. I'm just not sure which way, I, if I'm going to make strips like that or like that, smaller ones. Well, that's about as much as I need because my panels are 15 and 20 centimeters square. So I, I won't have to have too long stuff. But I, I don't like that there's a little bit of... I'll have to get that off because that, that drives me crazy when there's little specks here and there. I'm going to see if I can get that off. Okay, this is it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm not I'm not too... Uh, um, nah, I don't think it's nice. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but it's not doing it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect these bits with, uh, this is uh, some kind of paste, I don't know. Uh, it was from Vallejo, and I like the Vallejo stuff, so I just bought it. And sort of paste in a little tube where you can get it out really controlled. And uh, you can do stuff with it. And this is gold, so maybe getting these two sorts of gold in with each other might make it just a little bit more attractive. I wasn't too happy with it. I don't know why. But then it just, you know, I keep thinking about it and then I think, nah, let's not do this. Let's just try something else. We're not at the point yet where we're uh, sticking it all together, so I can still experiment a little bit. Okay. Now, what I was planning on, oh yeah, I'll show you that stuff. It's called Art Deco Liner Extra Juro. That's something Spanish. It's uh, 0 0.67 fluid ounces. This is gold. And uh, you can just put it on anything. Wood, stone, glass, cardboard, paper, gypsum, whatever that is plastics so you can put it on anything and just manipulate it you can comb it oops why is that small I must have cut a piece off that's not good I need the bigger one okay we're gonna press it on there and we're gonna roll it that's it Ooh. Now that is pretty. I like it. That I like. See what's happening there? You have these big patches and then we have these tiny little coral patches. Wow, they are really detailed. Let me get you in focus. Oop, not in focus. Yeah, now you are. Look at that. That is really, I'm glad I did that. That is beautiful. 
Wow. I think I'm going to have to do some, um, some close-ups of that. Some macro shots. That is really, really... <laughs> this just blew my socks off. That is really pretty. Hmm, that has possibilities. So once it's dry, it'll, it'll give that a little bit darker gold, and that's kind of nice to have two sorts. So I'm happy I did this. Then I still have this left. Let me get you in close on this one too. See, there are some of those little corally motives patterns. There you go. So uh, we'll just keep that. You never know if you're going to use it. But this I really love. This is going to dry exactly like it is. Because this paste is sort of tough. And it'll keep the little peaks that I pressed into it. So um, I'm happy. I really am. I love it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Later.